and this is a tech demo, uh, broadcast bridge by event every cast labs. So Dan's going to show you how easily you can transport remote presenters into your AV production set up with Broadcast Bridge. Broadcast Bridge routes your remote talent's video and audio inputs directly into your vision mixing software so you can include them in your hybrid event or live stream. So without further ado for the product demo, I'd like to hand over to Dan. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Can everyone hear me? Good? Yes, great. So yes, I'm Dan Jenkins, founder of Everycast Labs and we've got a product called uh, Broadcast Bridge. This is our brand new website. It actually launched last night at about half past 11. Um, thank you very much to the team for uh, getting it ahead of, of Event Tech Live. Um, so Broadcast Bridge in its core is about bringing in remote presenters, remote speakers, remote talent uh, into professional production grade, um, vision mixing software, hardware, whatever. Um, and so getting away from the hacky kind of scenarios that we currently face with things like Zoom, Teams, screen recording, things like that, and, um, and being able to kind of go and get a remote presenter in, in its kind of raw form, in their raw form, and, um, and being able to kind of present that to AV teams, such as the one that we've got at the back of the room, in the format that they want it in. So, tech demo, so I'm going to kind of go through it as best I can um, and, and show, you, show you how it all works. So um, let me log in. And so you can log in with GitHub, you can, you can log in with Google. Um, we've got more social logins coming soon um, as and when people want them. So we log in and I've already created an account. Um, but we've got three different plans for, for different purposes um, that give you different kind of qualities at different prices. But um, that's not what you're all here to, to look at. So at its very core, we've got these two concepts. We've got bridges and we've got rooms. So rooms should be really simple. It's where your remote presenter, your AV tech, your panelists, whoever, that's where they all gather. And then a bridge is the thing that actually runs locally on a machine wherever and generates the feeds that, that we want. It's important to note that that bridge is something that we run locally within that, within that environment. It's not a cloud thing. Whereas the media servers that we run to be able to get people um, in, into the system, they are cloud media servers, um, but there are also options of running something yourself privately um, if you wanted to. So let's go into rooms and you can see we've got a couple of test, test rooms here. So let's go into the one that we created earlier called Event Tech Live and we can go in and edit that room. And so you, we give people, AV teams, control over the codecs that are used, codecs that are offered, um, what target resolution we want out of the system at the end. Um, if you're using things like NDI, when you're bringing in that NDI feed into a vision mixer like vMix, you want that stream, you want that feed to be resolute. You want it to not jump about, right? So you want to say, right, this is a 720 feed and, and for quality to, to not jump. And so we can say, well, we want to target 720, 1080 or, or, or even 4K. So today we're running within a wireless network. So today I'm running 720. And then we've got, we've got media server locations. So at the moment, we've got one in Singapore, one in the UK, one in, I think, San Francisco. And then I've got a private server running here on my laptop locally. I'm not going to use that just because I like doing risky demos. So I'm going to use the UK media server, which is actually uh, in London. Um, so, and then it's going to connect to a bridge called Dan's laptop. The rest of these settings I'm not kind of going to go through right now, but two key ones are we can make the stream, make any stream visible to everyone else. So this is something that we call tagging, and that means that you can tag a user, a, a, a presenter, with certain tags so that certain presenters can see one another, certain presenters can't see one another. Think of it as a green room type thing. Um, and then the other one, is, um, is being able to output everything to NDI by default. This is great for demos, 
Um, not necessarily great for, for actual live events, but I'll show you this in a minute. And then we've got available inputs. So at the moment, you've got NDI inputs. Um, we also support SRT in and a new, new technology, new protocol called, called WIP, which is WebRTC, but standardized. And there's loads of nice uh, new hardware encoders that support WIP. Um, so that's, that's really great. Um, but you can also have named routable outputs as well. So I've got a, what we call web source, and I'll show you web source in a minute. So let's get started. Um, so I'm joining that room, and uh, let's go back very quickly. Uh, rooms, so you can see here, Event Tech Live. So you've got an edit feature, you've got a join session feature, which is what we just did. Um, but you've got an external link feature um, and an embed code as well. So you can go and give an embed code to, to some other third party. Um, you can go and give this link to other people. Um, but then you can also send an email invitation to specific people um, and you can say that link is only valid until whenever. Um, but that's getting kind of more, more in depth. Um, but there's a lot of there's a lot of flexibility within the platform itself. So we go join the room, which takes a little bit longer because of the Wi-Fi. Um, so, and then we want to join with a webcam. So let's just call this webcam for now, and let's join using my camera and my microphone. And I'm going to press Add to Session, and you can see I'm down there. Um, let's go and add a screen share. So let's go share the entire screen as well. So whole screen. Um, so add session. A, a nice thing about our platform is that it allows you to have multiple web webcams and multiple screen shares. Um, and so there's no, oh, I need to go close this one down to start up another one and it interrupt video. They're all individual isolated uh, feeds. But I've only got seven minutes left, so let's actually do the thing that we're here to do. So you can see here, we've got outputs, and so there's that feature that I talked about earlier, NDI, so it's automatically tagged both of these with NDI, but I wanna also tag uh, my, my webcam feed uh, with web source output one. So if we scroll over, this is our bridge software. Talked about it a little bit earlier, and you can see, you log into it, and then it magically starts doing stuff based off of what you've done in the web UI. You basically start this up and let it run. And so you can see there, we've got Dan webcam and we've got Dan whole screen. And both of those are being output to NDI. It's lying a little bit. The, the webcam's being output to web source, but the bridge doesn't care about web source, so it doesn't list it. But we can output to SDI using AJA cards and deck link cards. Um, and we support tally as well, which is a really cool feature. So let's just go over to OBS. So OBS is a vision mixing software. And so we can go over and let me just uh, dash dot broadcast bridge and rooms. And I want to copy that URL for that web source. And so if we go over to browser and give that URL, that's going to load up a, my, my webcam feed. Um, and so this is a way of kind of getting started with Broadcast Bridge without having to run that bridge software. Um, if you don't care about NDI and you don't care about SDI and you just care about bringing in uh, video, then you can do that with just bringing in a web URL into say OBS or vMix or whatever software your AV team are using. And you'll notice there's no Chrome. So what we refer to as Chrome is, is all of this, right? You can see Dan webcam, you can see, you can see stuff overlays, right? Uh, and so in Zoom, you'd see a little name tag in the bottom left um, that everyone tries to get rid of. Um, but here, we've given it as its own video feed. So scene three here is an NDI source. And you, you can see I was testing this earlier out, out, out front. And so I should be able to say, go select Dan webcam. And hopefully, 
if the demo gods are good to me. Haha. <laughs> uh, NDI. NDI monitor. No, my, my demo gods are not being good. So, but basically, you can see here, I had an NDI feed earlier, um, and it was outputting me. Um, it was outputting my feed. I'm a bit cross that this isn't working. As you can see, it was working earlier today. Um, so, let's just try and kick it into gear. So let's close down my bridge software, and... Let's, let's run it like this and see what happens. Um, come back to that in a sec. But ultimately, you can say, right, I want everything to be output to NDI. I want to remove this source from, from outputting to NDI. Um, and and as, a, as a third party, I can go in and join as a as as a non-logged in thing, and so we can go Event Tech Live, and we can say copy the external link, and we can go over to a brand new browser over here, and we can say join. So let's have a look, quick look at these options. So we've got join with webcam, join with screen share, just publish. So just publish allows you to just publish and not receive anything, and so you can basically join with an iPhone and point it at someone and it won't receive any streams at all and it will just publish. And then you can say join without sharing, without doing anything. So what do I want to do? I want to join without sharing. And then you can see both of my, both of my webcam and, um, and my screen share. And then you get control, better control than, than other platforms give you. You can start doing picture in picture. Um, you can do... Um, you can mute and unmute select tracks as well. And then the really cool thing that hopefully I can show you in just a second. Ah, oh, there's bad things happening because of the Wi-Fi. Oh dear. Uh, so it's very much designed to run in a nice network, hardwired in, right? Um, and you can see they're unable to create NDI sender uh, for some unknown reason. Um, let's... I've literally got a minute. Do I have do I have time? Do I have time? So let's let's create a new room and call it uh, testing Wi-Fi. And we're going to go to the UK and we're going to go to my laptop. And we'll leave all of that as it is. We will go in and remove Dan's laptop from that and remove Dan's laptop from that, done. And then hopefully if I go to just testing Wi-Fi, uh, join with webcam and da -da 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 -da, add to session and then I'm gonna, let's restart this and pray that Resetting things in a new room means that it doesn't get a bit whiffy. Uh, come on, login, streams, and then hopefully this is just going to tell me about one room, which it is. So um, if I go back over to OBS, I should be able to find that one, press OK. And it's not working. Why is it not working? Anyway, imagine that you just saw, it does work when, it, when it's on a nice network. Um, imagine you just saw an, an NDI outputted uh, video feed that looks like this. And there's no Chrome, there's no names, there's no, there's, and, it's, and it's an isolated feed. So you, for every single person in a room, you get video, you get audio, if they're together. You get a screen share with audio, you get a screen share with, with audio together. And so for AV techs, this is magical because 
like Zoom offer certain things, Teams offers certain things, but they all have their own downsides. And this is trying to completely solve that problem um, by making it really easy to get uh, a nice picture, nice, nice audio, um, with nice frame rates and, and with, with control. Uh, so that's Broadcast Bridge. Uh, thank you very much for, for watching. Um, and I'll be around for questions afterwards. Hello. Thank you, Dan. Thank you for that. Does anyone have any questions at all? No? OK. Dan, thank you. That was excellent. See you again in the next session in 15 minutes.